What should we do if it turns out we don't actually want to analyze the entire data set as part of our analysis? What should we do when we only want to analyze a subset? Sometimes the data set that's provided to us, the entirety of it isn't relevant for our analysis. One tool that we can use is what's called an Excel table. Now this is a formal designation. We call things tables of data all the time, but in Excel, they have a very specific thing that it means when it says an Excel table, it's a fancy feature. This is a very easy way of setting up basic filters to uh, screen out some of your data. Uh, one downside I have to bring up to you here is, the, is that sometimes Excel tables don't play nice with other advanced analysis you might wanna conduct in Excel. So I'm a little cautious about using this tool when I'm doing my own analysis in Excel. In fact, I will show you a little workaround at the very end of this example that shows you how to sort of address that problem of using an Excel table, but then sort of deleting this special feature. So in this example, let's imagine that instead of all 230 records, I only want to analyze people in lower income groups in my data set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click in the upper left hand corner of my data set. I'm going to click on the insert table tab. I'll make sure that when I create the table, it's selected my entire data set as shown here. Now that our data is in a table, a formal designation in Excel, it's very easy for us to filter out uh, particular responses and not look at all 230 records at once. So we're gonna click on the little arrow menu for the income month variable here. And then we will just select the numerical values that correspond, we could go check the code book, to the groups that we identify per our, whatever our definition is of a lower income group. We'll observe that once we do this, all the records that are not part of that criteria are filtered out, but they're not deleted. They're sort of lurking, hidden in our data set. Um, if we actually want to sort of permanently get rid of them, never make them part of our analysis, what we will do, we're going to then copy the entire table. We're gonna make an entirely new spreadsheet. And we're gonna paste those values that are just the lower income households and all the records into that sheet. And that's the sheet then we would then use for any later analysis. So here we are again in our data set and it's where we have to find our little income variable here. And it turns out our income variable is here in column M. So we know what we're dealing with. So to create our table, we have to select the entire table, but the easiest way to do that is to just start in one A. Keep in mind that the whole data set is completely filled in so that when we click on insert, and table, by default, see the little dotted green lines dancing around, we can see that it's trying to select from A1 to AH231, which is the entire data set. Good guess, Excel. And our table also has headers. Those headers mean the variable names at the top. So hit OK. It colorizes. Uh, and what's important here is that it's now set up as a table. And you'll notice that there's these little arrows up at the top here. And this is the little powerful tool that we'll be dealing with. Okay, so we have our income variable here in column M. If I click on this, I can select which records I want it to actually show as part of the table. Let's say I checked my code book and I consulted with management and those individuals who had an income that corresponded to the codes of zero, one, two, and three uh, meet my criteria for lower income for purposes of my study. I hit okay and notice how my data set's clearly much smaller now. <laughs> and that's because I've excluded a lot of individuals, but also notice they're not permanently deleted. If you go over here to the far left, you can see how different numbers of the rows are skipped over, right? That means they've been hidden or excluded. Now, when it's time for us to analyze this data, let's assume we only want to conduct analysis on low income. We would want to select this whole data set, as I've done here, copy it, so in my case, control C is the copy command I'll use. You can kind of see how it copies a little strangely because it's, you know, selecting just those records that aren't hidden. Now that it's copied, I'll click a little tab down here to make a new sheet. And when I paste, I'm going to paste, not just hitting control V, but instead I'm going to go to the paste option and I'm going to paste values. And now I've pasted over a raw data set. It's no longer in that table format. Notice there's no little menus available to us. And also notice all the rows are now continuous again, one to 37. 
So now if I wanted to only analyze individuals who I characterize as lower income, I would analyze on this data set. Uh, this little practice here of sort of permanently, permanently filtering out responses is something that should be done cautiously, right? Uh, any analysis we do here would exclude, obviously, the other records we might care about. We want to make sure we really mean it when we do this. Uh, most commonly, the times that we do something like this is when we have identified records in the data set that are invalid. Uh, records that maybe the people did took uh, too short of time on the survey, or there's something else where they failed a quality control check. So we literally never want to see those records again when we conduct our analysis.